Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are going to talk about unit rate and scale factor. Let's do it. What you can expect from this lesson is that we're going to talk about scale factor that's greater than one, scale factor that's less than one, and scale factor as a constant of proportionality. We'll also have some practice questions where you will get to um, use the information that we're talking about to solve some problems and I will give full solutions for those problems. So stick around to the end for some extra practice. Let's get started. Scale factor. Scale factor is the constant we multiply times each measurement to give a new measurement. So when you've got a small figure like this um, rectangle that has a length of four and a width of one meter, if I had a scale factor of two, then to calculate the measurements of each of the other sides of this rectangle, I would multiply it times two. So you see the example there. It started out as four meters in my original figure. If my scale factor is two, I do four times two, which gives me eight meters. Eight meters is the new measurement for the length of the larger red rectangle because that's our scale factor. So if I'm told that this is my question mark, we don't know the distance there. To figure that out, I would multiply one meter times my scale factor of two to get my new measurement. The reason I multiply it times one meter is because the corresponding side of this rectangle is measures one meter. So the corresponding width, I should say, measures one meter. We multiply one times two, and that will get us our new measurement for this larger rectangle is two meters. Let me show you this in another example using a cube. If this cube has a side measurement of two centimeters, and I'm told that my scale factor is three, then what is the side measurement of this larger cube? Well, to figure that out, I would have to do some multiplying, right? I would take that measurement of two centimeters and multiply it times my scale factor to get the new measurement. So two times three is six. So if there's a scale factor of six, the side measurement was two centimeters, the side measurement of the new larger scale model or would be six centimeters. Let's look at another figure here. We've got two triangles, triangle A, B, C, and D, E, F. These triangles are similar. That means that they have a scale factor. If I'm going from the first triangle on the left to the second triangle on the right, we notice that it actually um, gets smaller, right? So these triangles, they are similar, and they would have a scale factor of one-half. So you notice how, if I um, use the grid that's behind it as a measurement, you can notice that this triangle side AB is six centimeters. We'll say that the scale measurement there is uh, centimeters. So it would be six centimeters and DE is three centimeters. You can see that the measurement of the sides on DEF are half of what they are on ABC. So that's a way that you could figure out the scale factor between them. Then you could figure out some more pieces of information. Let's take a look. If I label this side AC as being 8.5 centimeters, it's approximately that, and I say, what is DF? Well, we would take AC of 8.5, and we would multiply it times our scale factor, and that will give us our new measurement. So DF is equal to four point, approximately 4.25 centimeters. It would be exact if AC was equal to um, 8.5. It's an approximate kind of rounded amount. All right. So let's talk about scale factor for just a moment. 
if a scale factor is less than 1, or some kind of a proper fraction, it would make similar figures that are smaller. In our triangle example, we saw that. We saw how the original figure was larger than the smaller one. The second figure was smaller, and that those um, the scale factor was less than 1. If a scale factor is greater than 1, then it will make larger figures, and we saw that with our red rectangle example. So you can see how that works. If it's a fraction less than 1, it's going to make smaller figures. If it is greater than 1, then the new image will be larger. One more thing about scale factor. Scale factor is a constant rate. So the scale factor is what we multiply times any of the sides because they are proportional. So this constant rate that we're multiplying makes things proportional. Hmm, that's a lot of vocabulary in there. Constant rate, proportional. If this is all sounding familiar to you, that's because the scale factor is the constant of proportionality, also known as the unit rate. So that's the connection between unit rate, constant of proportionality, and these scale drawings that we're doing. That the scale factor is the constant of proportionality. It's the thing that you multiply. No matter what the side measurement is, you're multiplying times that constant every time to get the new measurement. Let's do a little bit of practice. This is, I promised you in the beginning that we would have practice. So I'm going to give you a practice problem here, and then I'm going to show you the full solution. So here is our practice problem. I'm giving you this tiny little um, pentagon up here, telling you that I have a square or a scale factor of five, and giving you a picture here of a large one that is about a scale factor of five, and asking you to calculate this side here that you see is a question mark. So I want you to pause the video, try and figure that out, and then come back and I will give you a full solution for it. Are you back? Did you do it? This is the step you should have done. Your measurement, one centimeter, times your scale factor of five will give you your new measurement of five centimeters. So that missing measurement over there on the left side is five centimeters. Did you get that? All right, now let's do one more. In this one, we're going to have a scale factor that is a fraction, so it is less than one. In other words, the new image is going to be smaller. And this is the side measurement you are looking for, is the one with the question mark there. So uh, the original parallelogram has 6 meters on the base and 3 meters on, on the right side there. You're given a couple measurements, or one measurement of 1 meter on our new drawing, and you have to find the base of the second parallelogram, knowing that the scale factor is 1 third. So give that a shot and then come back. All right, you're back. So I assume you did the work of multiplying 6 times 1 third, or the measurement of the base of that parallelogram times the scale factor, and that should give you 2. In other words, 2 meters, that is the base of the new parallelogram. Nice job if you got it. If you didn't get it, hopefully that explanation has helped so that you can get that um, for the next one. Of course, we don't have a next one in here. Scale factor is a constant that you multiply. If it's greater than 1, it makes the, the larger scale figure. If it is less than 1, it makes a smaller scale figure. I hope that lesson has been helpful for you. I hope that the practice was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.